Welcome back to the Blue Review. Greg Bergman, Travis Rogers with me because there's no Clinton Yates today. That's a, it's a big deal. I always love when Travis is here with me. I talk to him all day, every day about baseball anyway. So we just got a camera today. Yeah, that's basically what's going <laughs> to The Blue Review is presented by Los Angeles International Airport, where changes are arriving daily to help reduce traffic, save travelers time, and transform the travel experience. All right, Trav, Freeway Series, Angels, down in Anaheim, Kershaw on the Hill tonight. How big is this series for the Dodgers? I think it's huge for both of them. I, I think it's a huge t- series for both teams. The Dodgers, for all the obvious reasons, right, that they've been playing really poorly of late. Their bullpen is a disaster. And really, for the first time in years, there's a, a, not a likelihood that they miss the playoffs, but a, the possibility of them missing the playoffs, where it's not a, oh, well, yeah, anything could happen. It's like they're a third-place team all of a sudden, a good week, a good couple of weeks kind of puts all that back to bed. I, well, I mean, I guess anything's possible, but likely is is where I'm at here is where I just don't think that it's likely that they miss the playoffs. That I think they're too good of a team. They're still too deep of a mm. team. They're not playing great ball right now, but they were coming into this month. June has been but they really were rough. they were still winning because they were scoring a ton of runs. They were covering from yeah. an incredibly bad bullpen. And that is unsustainable, right? That I again. If you, if you want to put a percentage on it, coming into the season, to your point, anything being possible, sure, there's like a 1% or 2% chance that they miss the playoffs. And I think probably now it's like maybe 10 or 15, which is a huge difference that's right now. Deal. And that's not a anything can happen. That's a some 10%, 15% does happen. You can't fix the entire bullpen. You're not going to find eight new guys. It doesn't work like that. Some of those guys are going to have to do better, and I don't know if they can. Yeah, I don't know if they got the right guys. I mean, they're going to have to start moving guys into the bullpen that probably aren't normally in the yeah, bullpen. Yeah. But they have to go out and get something, and that's where Andrew Friedman has been fantastic. The thing that probably makes you feel the best is that he does exactly what you've said. This is somebody that knows the moves, yep. that will make the moves, and is obviously – has a track record where you can trust him. And so I, it's not full-blown panic, but if you're just looking at what's available and what the price is on what's available and what the Dodgers have in their bullpen as it is, like I said, you can't replace everybody. You no. can, One or two, would it help? Sure. Does it change everything? I'm not so sure. I, I think that they'll do something, but what that something is and how bold of, that, of a move it is, I don't know. I think you may see them go into the second third of the season in a very different spot than we've seen them over the last 10 years. Where they're actually fighting to get uphill. Where they, they, they're going to have to win with, with bats. They're just going to have to win by scoring a bunch of runs. So then they'll probably have to add bats then too, because this bat is the bats that are on there. They're playing well somewhat, but like, you know, months it's top batting heavy. below 200. It's top heavy. Yeah. 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 They, they've got their first four or five guys are, are really good. And it looked like Alton was going to, mm-hmm. and now it kind of feels like, He's not. He'll, he'll be all right. He'll look, get better. This is the way two months, goes. Trav. It, it has. Look, this is what happens. They figure out what you don't do, and then they just give you that until you figure out how to do it. And so far, he's struggled to kind of, you know, move back the other way. I, I think he's a really good athlete. I think he's a very good player. He doesn't seem to have his confidence all that, you know, destroyed despite the fact having a, a rough go. But you got a problem there. You've got a problem at shortstop. There's absolutely no offense to speak of nope. at all at the shortstop position. Um, you know, your outfield is pretty productive between the five guys that you're rotating in and out of there, but you got to get shortstop squared away. So shortstop, I never thought I would say this. I was totally against it. I think you and I had this conversation a thousand times, but move Mookie there. Okay. So, I mean, look, I don't like the idea of it. I like him in right field. I love what he gives you in right field, gold glove, right field, major arm, taking away all of that is, is tough. But if you move him to short, you get good production still in right field. You do. And and I'm more open to it than I was a month or two ago. Right. But I want to go back to a play with the White Sox where Rojas kind of gets the ball behind the bag and Mookie is covering and he decides to flip it to him. And Mookie was not expecting it. He was out of position. And they, nobody got hurt or anything. But it's just he hasn't played there in such a long time. I understand that you're looking for offense. I understand all of these things. But he's been an outfielder for his virtually his entire major league career. Yeah. And I understand that, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. But I just – I still really don't like it. Yeah, I mean, it's not my favorite thing. But the fact is that you need – you need – that there is a big hole at short. It just fixes it until you can go do something because Rojas is not the answer. Chris Taylor is not the answer. He doesn't hit either. Neither one of those dudes are the answer. So we'll have to figure it out. I'm also excited because tomorrow, Trav, you and I are going to a baseball game. Otani versus the Dodgers. We lucked out. We booked it, uh, what, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, not even knowing. 
and uh, we get to see the, uh, the the only downside is that the Dodgers are not playing well and the Angels are, which I don't love. But I do want to see Otani. I do want to see the Dodgers down uh, in my neck of the woods. So I can't wait. We'll do yeah, it tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. I've never seen Otani actually hit. The only time I saw him at an Angel game, I was all the way in center field, way back, and I couldn't see the, the actual play. I've seen him hit a handful of. I've never seen him pitch. This will be my first yeah. time seeing him pitch in yeah. person. Can't wait. Really excited. Really excited. All right. Thank you very much for watching the movie. Thank you very much, Travis. Of course. And thank you to LAX. I'll see you tomorrow.